Insights. All right, so this video is going to be covering using a diode to increase the voltage off of your sense wire. This is only going to work on your internally regulated uh, alternators that have a sense wire. I don't know if you can see that AS in this video, but this is a regular 4-pin GM alternator uh, terminal for the hairpins. It will only be using the yellow wire, which is going to be on that L. That's for your lamp. And the blue wire is going to be on the S. That's the only ones that you're going to need to use. So what I'm going to do, I use these little diodes to slide back. They're hard to do with one hand here. So a little bump out right here on the terminal. I'm going to slide that back in there. Because I'm too cheap to buy the right tool. Alright, with that in place, I should be able to remove that terminal. So we don't need this wire. So, gone. And we'll do the same for the green wire. Now that it's in there, done. All right, so now, what I will do, I'm gonna make this harness up to show it. This is a uh, this is the same type of alternator that I have in my Yukon. So the regulator is the exact same that I'm using on it currently. So what I'll do, I'll mock this terminal up, or this uh, harness up. Pop the one loose on my Yukon, and I'll show you how this works. Uh, I mentioned this in another video, but if you're gonna do your own wiring on the alternator, the yellow wire has to have a 470 ohm resistor on it, or you know, or the lamp that the factory would use. But the the whole purpose is it reduces the the power going to this uh, the lamp terminal the the signal terminal to turn it on uh, if you don't have that you'll end up burning that regulator up uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these soldered and we'll, uh, we'll get back to uh, another video All right. so I have soldered everything in place the uh, lighting's kind of making everything look kind of weird here but there we go. The uh, the silver band of the diode is pointing directly back to the regulator. The resistor is not directional. It, it will not make a difference for you either way. Um, the diode, if it's not pointing the right direction, you will not see it benefit. It'll act just like the piece of wire. You know, it'll be just like this connection. Uh, so. As long as you got that silver band pointing in the right direction, you should see somewhere between a, a half volt to 0.7 volts of an increase on your output. And uh, the diodes that I use, I don't know if I can zoom in on it here. Well, I'm not gonna be able to, but they are an IN5404. That is the model number. Uh, they're rather inexpensive, so you can you can pick them up pretty cheap. I think uh, a fifty pack to, uh, fifty pack of them is around eight to ten dollars. So or maybe maybe even seven. I think the last time I priced them for uh, somebody. Uh, right, so I'm going to take some test leads. 
I'll take this harness out, hook it up to my Yukon, and we will monitor the voltage with this. And I'll show you the difference of having this. Uh, what I'll do is I'll connect back here so the diode isn't in place and show you what the voltage is with the vehicle running. And then I'll move the die, move it down to where, there we go, where we've actually have the diode in place. And then we'll, we'll watch the, the differences in voltage. All right, so I'm hoping you guys can hear me. Uh, I've got everything set in place. The meter, I've got it connected with some jumpers across just to the power stud on the back of the alternator and to the ground stud or the ground wire that I have around back here. So currently without the alternator powered up, I'm reading 12 and 3. So both of these jumpers are connected to the actual power stud on the alternator. Notice, as soon as I connect this, I'm now charging at 15 volts.